Hi guys, Mark Wood here and welcome to another video tip and in today's tip I want to help you to stop early releasing the club on the way down. When you early release the club, that's where all the wrist angles come out early and you're coming into impact and the club head is really starting to overtake your hands. That can cause a heavy shot, it can cause a thin shot, shots off the bottom of the club, just really inconsistent ball striking, lack of power because what tends to happen when you early release the club, the shaft is leaning back and now my six iron's turned into more like my eight iron and it's literally gone like an eight iron distance. So a really good drill that you could do to help you with this is put your right hand at the top of the grip and turn the hand over so you can see three knuckles on that right hand, your left hand goes underneath, you swing up to the top of the backswing, there's going to be a lot of cupping in your right wrist as a result of that and you basically you just try and hold that angle in your right wrist for as long as you can on the way down and then into impact. It's not very comfortable hitting balls, you can hit balls like that on the range but it's not very comfortable to hit balls like that, it's more of a feel of you really holding the, the angle in that right wrist as you're coming down into impact and you can see now there's a lot more shaft lean at impact which is going to really get that ball flight you know fizzing through the air there. Another drill that you can do is to get an alignment cane, put that into the ground and literally just put your club up against that and then push the club head into that. So now you're pushing your hands forward, you're transferring the weight, you're pushing your hands forward and you can feel that in the back of your left hand. That's what impact wants to feel like. Then you can start to make a backswing, hold the angles in your right wrist, make sure your hands pass that red cane before the club gets onto it. Don't let the, your club head get onto the cane with your hands behind it. Really feel that you're coming in this way. It's going to take a little bit of loft off the club, is you're going to then compress the ball more, you're going to get a much better ball flight and you should start to hit your irons, your true distances. It will certainly give you that ball turf strike, it's going to take away the, um, the thin shots, the fat shots, you're going to start striking the ball more out the centre of the club face and it's going to feel really nice as well. So you can rehearse that one, right hand over, left hand at the bottom, hold the angles for as long as you can, feel that, come round this way, feel that, then go ahead and strike one. Like I say, you should get that nice ball turf divot. Perfect. Like a bullet straight at the middle of the grain. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video tip. Don't forget to post your comments below, thumbs up the video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's completely free and I appreciate your support. Many thanks for watching.